Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm back with another video on software defined radio. Uh, this time I brought in a software defined radio dongle, uh, which is known as SDR Play. Uh, this one is SDR Play version one, RSP one. Uh, the cool thing about this SDR receiver is that it has a frequency range of from 10 kilohertz all the way up to 2 gigahertz. It has a 12-bit ADC. It uses a different kind of chipset. Uh, than RTL SDR dongle. Uh, this has a very good uh, response as compared to RSDR, uh, RTL SDR dongle. Uh, it already has a built-in SMA connector where you can screw your connector in. Uh, okay, so what are some of the flaws uh, regarding this particular dongle as compared to RTL SDR dongle? The first thing, it hard, it is very hard to find a software that is compatible with software-defined radio in a Linux platform. In RSP and SDR Play, uh, RSP1 and any version of SDR Play dongle, it's very hard to find uh, platforms that actually works. Let me give you an example. First of all, SDR Angel. Even though when you connect your dongle and you're running SDR Angel, it will see but it will unable to use this dongle. It will actually see that you have SDR Play connected to it but it will not actually work. This is what my experiences are. Another software that I work with GQRX, I was unable to use GQRX with this, with this particular dongle. I was unable to use GNU Radio latest version which is I think 3.10 point something. Uh, I was unable to actually use the built-in blocks that is available in GNU Radio Companion with SDR Play. Uh, I tried to use Cubic SDR, I tried to use SDR++. None of those software seems to work with this uh, SDR Play dongle. The only software that actually works with this dongle is actually SDR Uno, which is available only for Windows platform. So that's why I'm back with a video on Windows platform. So I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug this SDR, uh, SDR Play dongle here to my USB port. And once this gets connected, I'm going to start my SDR Uno software. All right, so SDR Uno is quite nice. It's a very rigorous software. As you can see, there's a lot of controls which are there. Uh, 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 you can just play around with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. So the reason I'm introducing SDR Uno, because SDR Play was not working with any of the softwares that are currently available for, for Mac OSs and Linux. The only software that seems to work perfectly with SDR Play dongle is SDR Uno, which is only available on Windows platform. So that's why I need I, I am doing this tutorial after a trial and error. That's the only software that, that works. So what I'm gonna do just simply in any type of software, I'm just gonna hit play and I'm start seeing spectrum. As you can see the noise, I can see you start playing the spectrum. I'm gonna go here, hit the space, and I'm gonna choose 935 M for mega. And I'm going to hit enter and I, I start seeing different activities at 935 megahertz band. There are a lot of controls that you can do. You can do modulation, you can do, de sorry, not modulation, demodulation using near field communication and things, uh, ne uh, narrow band FM, wide band FM, and then you have a lot of things that you can do. Uh, the reason that I am introducing this software is just to show you that. If you are going to get SDR Play dongle, may, may it, I haven't found a solution in Linux platform yet. So anyone has any idea that how you can use it with uh, uh, softwares which are Linux compatible, please do let me know because GQRX wasn't working. SDR Play, even though it comes up that SDR Play is plugged in, but I was not seeing it uh, working on, on, on GQRX or SDR Angel platform, not even in SDR++. So this is a small video, just wanted to introduce a new set of software which is SDR Uno which is only available on Windows platform. The reason for me to introduce this software is just to see that if you have, if you have SDR Play dongle, SDR Uno, that's the only software option that you have available. Uh, I would love to see it working with GNU Radio Companion but uh, it wasn't working for me so if you have, uh, if you have somehow manage to work with SDR uh, with GNU Radio Companion, please do let me know and leave it in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.